Great news if you're a Canon R6 owner because the Canon R6 firmware update has now been released and is available to download. That's right, firmware update 1.1.1 has now been released by Canon and you can download it on your Canon EOS R6. Now, if you don't know how to download firmware onto your Canon camera, the good news is I have provided a link in the description of this video right here for you to go to, where you can watch a video showing you how to download firmware onto your Canon camera. And I will also leave a link below this to the page where you can download the firmware as well. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys the main benefits that you will experience from this firmware update as an R6 owner. But first, I'm going to share with you some sad news. Around 11 weeks ago, I ordered the Canon R6 camera. I pre-ordered this, awaiting delivery on the delivery date mentioned. But unfortunately, like a lot of you out there, I have also experienced no delivery. A few weeks ago, I made a video where I'd contacted many suppliers of the Canon R6 because I wanted to find out the real truth about the delays that people would experience that had placed pre-orders on this camera. Now, prior warning, if you are currently full of the joys of life, then I should really tell you that this will be an unpleasurable and miserable experience for you. So you should probably give the video a miss. But if this sounds like the perfect viewing experience for you, then check it out. And you can do that by looking here or over there. Okay, so now let's check out what Canon have said we are going to receive on this firmware update. And I've got some good news for you. That's right, it's definitely worth sticking around because some of this news is really gonna make a big difference to your R6 experience. Now, I did just mention in the video that I don't actually have my R6 currently yet. I'm waiting for it to be delivered like a lot of you guys. So I can't actually test this out on my R6 camera. But the good news is I have done a lot of due diligence and checked out lots of online reviews to find out the real experience that people have had with this firmware update. Now, the only two points on this list worthwhile your time are point four and point eight. Now, point four is discussing how the improvement has now been made to some of the lenses and the camera's interaction with IBIS. Now, this is only the improvements in movie mode, not that I've experienced, but Canon is saying that some people have experienced problems when the IBIS has been switched on with the lens and the camera interaction. And now in movie mode, this has been fixed. So if you're one of such people, you'll be happy to know that now you'll have no problems and you'll get the fantastic IBIS in body and also in lens. The real news that has got everyone salivating that is a Canon R6 owner though is the temperature detection and shooting time control in video shooting have been improved. This is point eight. Now, have they been improved? Is Canon telling the truth? Well, like I said, I checked this out with many people that have tested this and the news is good because previously when you shoot 4K at 24 frames per second, you would experience the shut off at 30 minutes. Now this was standard for the camera. This wasn't necessarily brought on by overheating, but if you switch it back on, you're then able to get some extra time before the camera switches off due to overheating issues. This will then take you up to about 40 minutes of total recording time, which is not that bad, but it's also not brilliant if you're someone that shoots longer segments of video. But the difference really comes when the firmware update is applied. With firmware update 1.1.1, you now get one hour and five minutes of record time in 4K 24 frames per second. That's until the overheat warning is displayed. So it's gone from 40 minutes to one hour and five minutes. And that's when your warning display is going to come on. But when the camera fully shuts off, you're looking at one hour and 13 minutes of record time. That is a huge difference. And for a lot of people out there, a lot of creators, this is gonna be a big deal. 
Now, if you've been on the fence about this camera, you've liked what you've heard, but when it's come to the overheating issue, it's just put you off, then this could be the difference that you've needed. But of course, if you shoot commercial video and you're looking to extend your video times past this one hour and 13 minute mark, then it's still gonna be a sour taste in your mouth. Canon has also mentioned that the total shooting time when the short time recording and power on off are performed repeatedly at room temperature, must be said, will be improved with this firmware update. The key thing to actually grab onto there is that this is to be performed indoors or at room temperature. If you're taking your R6 out and expecting to get lots more shooting time out of your camera in the burning hot Nevada desert, then chances are you're going to be very disappointed and you will have the same experience as you did before. But it's still great news because it means that in studio and shooting B-roll, you'll be able to get more shorter clips out of your R6 camera when shooting video and switching it on and off between those video clips. Now, what I'm really intrigued on hearing about, guys, is what you're going to be using your Canon R6 camera for. Will you be using it to shoot video with? And will the video be longer clips or shorter clips? Also, what do you think about the firmware update? Are you happy with it? Or do you think Canon needs to pull their finger out and do some more? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this short video, guys, about the Canon R6 firmware update. I will, of course, update you on more updates in future. If you did enjoy the video, it would mean the world to me if you gave it a thumb up and then left some comments below so we could talk about this after the video. Now, whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one, and I'll see you in the next video.